one of the common misperceptions I've run across with people who import data for to Inventor is that they don't think they can actually modify these components after they've been imported. So in this case, I've got a model open with just a base solid showing here. This could have been imported from SolidWorks Pro E, from a step file, or even a base solid that was stitched together from uh, surfaces in an IGES file. Now this isn't necessarily a locked down model. There's several ways we can go ahead and modify this. And today I just wanted to point out some of the techniques that are available in the base model editing mode. And I can get at that by simply double clicking on the base feature in the model, which brings up a separate panel allowing us to move faces, extend or contract faces, to create some work planes to be used by the extend contract. But one key element that people are not typically aware of is that you can actually select a face while in this base editing mode and just pick the delete key on your keyboard. Now if there's a logical way for the model to trim and extend without that face you deleted, it will go ahead and do so. So in this case, I've got a couple of chamfered edges here that we can go ahead, select and delete. Now sometimes, like in the case where we've got a hole here with the bottom of a hole, Picking one face by itself and trying to pick delete can cause some really weird things. Let's undo that. Or if I select just the bottom face and delete, notice we get an error. Just logically does not make sense to do that. So you can use the control key to multi-select and delete all those relevant faces at one time. And as you can see, we've completely removed that hole and gotten this back to a state where we could create a whole new hole from the scratch of our own variety. And that's just the beginning of some of the base solids editing techniques. And this will be one I'll continue more on in the future. Thanks for joining us and this week's CAD Geek blog tech tip.